and thank you for joining Hiding Behind the Lipstick 3.0. I am your host, Ophelia Waters, and I want to talk with you today about woe is me. Woe is me. Isaiah chapter 6 and verse 5 says, Woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of of a people of unclean lips. Woe is me is an overdramatic but often comical way to express sadness or disappointment at an unfair situation. However, many times the woe is me syndrome invades our lives and our hearts and our minds. How many times have that happened to all of us? We have been consumed with, why me? You know, you stand and look in the mirror and you search for a reason for things to change, things to be different. But after you leave the mirror, you still find yourself saying, why me? Could it be that you have not tried to do anything at all different since the last woe is me session? In order to get a different result, you must first do something that you have not done before. Yes, make another decision that will bring a better solution. Now, yesterday my pastor said, do you want a solution or do you want support? You have to make a decision. Take some time to think out what you're trying to do. Perhaps a vision board will help. A good motivational book. Even a life coach or maybe a therapist. Morning meditation with the Lord and some yoga. Any way that you can get over this woe is me, do it. We have to clear ourselves of this woe is me way of thinking. This way of thinking is not helpful, helpful. And it's sure not realistic. Have you ever noticed how negative thinking becomes contagious because it leads to negative talk? When you believe that self-fulfilled prophecy that you have placed upon your life while saying it until you actually believe that your life is terrible. Let me say that again. When you believe the self-fulfilled prophecy that you have placed upon your life. All the while saying, you say it until you actually believe that your life is terrible. We spend a lot of time trying to avoid the woe is me person that never seems to be happy about anything. We'll go way around the other way to keep them running into, woe is me. They're found in offices, educational institutions, they're found in clubs, restaurants, and even in the church. Amen. Times when woe is me are really just life issues that are common everyday problems that happen to normal people living normal everyday lives. Now here's a good time to stop and think what needs to happen in this instance to get you through this woe is me situation. If every month you run out of money, then cry about it to anybody and everybody that will listen, then you probably need to make a budget, stick to it, and help yourself stop the shortage. Maybe it's woe you're spending too much. Woe you're doing too much. Change your spending habits and see a difference in your funds. Woe is a great sorrow or distress. This is something that you should think on. Woe exemplifies misery, sorrow, sadness, unhappiness, and heartache. And it signifies trouble, difficulty, problems, trials, tribulations, and burdens. Woe is a condition of deep suffering from misfortune, affliction, grief, which can be a calamity of sorts. 
But the Bible warns seven times about woe. Talking to and about the scribes and the Pharisees. And we know that they were hypocrites. So I need you to check out Matthew in the Bible, chapter 23. Read it when you get time. There are a few things you may want to try to help you improve your life and stop the woe is me syndrome. First thing, move on. Do not waste time feeling sorry for yourself. Know that God is in control. So give it to him and move on. Embrace change. Welcome the challenges of new. Oh, not working out so well for you. Just saying. Stay happy. Don't waste energy complaining about the things you can't control. My Lord. Be kind, but be fair. And unafraid to speak up. Don't worry about being a people pleaser. Take some calculated risk. Weigh the risk and benefits before taking action. Think it out. Talk it out. Enjoy your time alone. Mm. Do not fear being by yourself. For God the Father is with you and you are never alone. Be prepared to work and succeed on your own merits. Know that the world owes you nothing. Go get your blessings. Staying power. Staying power. Have the ability to stick and stay. Don't expect immediate results. A little toiling may have to be invested. Stick. Have some staying power. Remember last week I talked about not having any get up. Staying power. Examine your core beliefs. And then after you examine them and you find out what they are, a lot of times we don't know what we really believe. But once you know your core beliefs, then you modify them to your needs. That's pretty deep. Productive thinking. Replace negative thoughts with productive thinking. I know that I I can make it because the Lord is my strength. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. I am more than a conqueror through Jesus Christ who loves me. Nothing shall be able to separate me from the love of Christ. Encourage your own self in the Lord with productive thinking. Be able to tolerate some discomfort. The blues singer said no pain, no gain. You must be able to accept feelings without being controlled by what you're feeling. My God, I know I said something. Be able to tolerate some discomfort. How you do that? Who likes discomfort? Who wants to be discomforted? But let me tell you, you must be able to accept those feelings that are going on on the inside of you. But you cannot be controlled by what you're feeling. In other words, don't react to how you feel. Remember, productive thinking. Stay, stay, stay in power, some sticking power. Examine them core beliefs. Reflect on your progress. Look back on Do this every day. Look back over what you have achieved and from where you have come and look at where you are headed. If you spend half of your life on woe is me, you will find yourself in these most common regrets. You will find yourself rather with these common regrets in your life. You spend ta- you spend your time, this is an if now, hypothetical. If you spend your time worrying about things that you could change, 
but refuse to make a change. You spend your time not showing real feelings of love because you're afraid. If you spend time not following your passion of life, if you spend time not living in the presence, not enjoying all the amazing moments of life, if you spend your time not daring to take risk, remember that your words are powerful and you need to use them wisely. Remember, failure is when you won't try. Remember, never look back. There is nothing there for you. And do not overthink. Don't overthink a thing. Sometimes we can overanalyze it and we can just kill it. And then your happiness is dead on arrival. Stop crying, woe is me. You have to see yourself as an alpha woman. Now, this is not arrogance or an insult. This is, an, this is a compliment of who you are. An alpha woman won't say, woe is me, for she is pro-woman. She cultivates a life she enjoys. She makes her moves strategically. She don't put herself down. She desires a husband, not a boyfriend. She calls wrong, wrong. She knows when to walk away. She doesn't compete for attention. She creates her own reality. She invests in herself and she dares to go for it. In other words, she'll take the risk. She knows the life that she lives intention is intentional. Don't hide behind the lipstick of woe is me. Find your passion. Don't waste time on people who don't cherish you. Know that no is a complete sentence and you do not have to justify your decisions because you are what? An alpha woman. Rise every morning and tell the Lord thank you. And then talk to yourself. This is what I want you to say. Self, self gonna say, huh? And this is what you tell it. I choose that I will, I choose what I will become. Today and every day, I choose to be happy. I am more than capable to achieve whatever I set my mind and spirit to. My setbacks are setting me up for bigger and better. I make peace with what I have no control over. I make peace with my past and I am now ready to receive my blessings that are just for me. I'm strong and I'm powerful. I am enough and I am brave. I am beautiful and I love me, all of me. I will not hide behind the lipstick anymore because I am forgiven. If you practice these concepts, I promise you, the woe is me will go into remission and it will stay there. Well, as I prepare to leave you on today, I admonish you to take this information, take it to heart, and allow it to change your blessings. As my bishop always said, internalize this information. Internalize it. And then you will shake off the woe is me syndrome. Again, I am Ophelia Waters, your host for Hiding Behind the Lipstick 3.0. And I thank you so very much for listening. And I want to encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Ophelia Waters Show. Please join me there. You can also find all of my previous episodes from years past and my most current ones. Again, until next time, no more hiding behind woe is me. Have a wonderful week.